We can both agree that the finals has fell off. I mean, its player count has been on a downward spiral since the beginning, but can they make a comeback? Today, we're here to see if newly added weapons, maps, and game modes can bring the finals back from the ashes or leave it thrown by the wayside. Me and my friend Ghost hopped straight into a game to check out some of the new weapons. We loaded into a quick cache, and obviously, I selected the bow because I'm the best damn archer on this side of the Mississippi. What? I hit him twice. Okay, I'm dog shit, but I didn't want to give up that easily. The bow seems like such a fun idea, but it obviously has a learning curve, and I'm no Katniss Everdeen. God damn it. I was struggling. I needed to find something to help me use this bow, and I tried everything. I tried stun guns, vanishing bombs, smoke grenades, you name it. I tried it all, and I just could not figure this thing out. Like, I don't understand what the, what do I use the stun gun for, bro? I, am I, I'm like an officer stunning a meth head. It doesn't even affect this fucking guy. It seems like uh, maybe the bow would be a great weapon for somebody like It's Timmy to use, but uh, when it comes to It's Swizzy, this motherfucker can't hang. I had to stop the bleeding, so I had to switch back to the old faithful, the small machine gun. I mean, this thing absolutely rips. Unfortunately, though, I didn't get a chance to even try it before our enemies packed us up and sent us home crying to our mothers. Well, bro, 23 kills. Logan yeah. should have been on someone else's team. That's it. Yeah, poor guy. I mean, obviously, I did my part. <laughs> I was fucking 3 and 12. All right, all right, all right. All right, guys, so maybe I'm not cut out to be a bow player, but uh, let's give this thing a fair shot, huh? Let's try a better weapon. Let's try the Guardian turret. Let's try the new FAMAS. Let's aimbot some motherfuckers. With my newfound confidence and my newfound guns, I wanted to try the newest game mode. They've added a sort of search and destroy component to competitive ranked, and we hopped in line for a chance at glory. One ranked win. All right, Jeff, can you give me a rundown of uh, kind of what the premise of this game mode is? Okay, so we, we are we're defenders. So there's going to be two ATMs. They're going to be located somewhere on the map. And we got to stop them from putting a key in it. And we can't die. Just do not die. All right. Cannot die. Oh, he's one shot. One shot. Let's go. Fucking go. I do my job and I do it well. This game mode, named Terminal Attack, has a pre-round setup to where the defenders are allowed to set up weapons and utility to defend their site. And we spent most of that time blowing up the entire building and setting up nothing to defend the ATM. I don't know what direction they're coming from. I expect maybe that direction. Oh, he sees me. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. There's people in the cross space. I swear I'm not schizophrenic. Oh! Oh, he's up there, he's up there. He's right above me, isn't he? Oh, man. Like that. And just like that, they take round two, baby. And just like that, we were up two to zero. I really started to enjoy this game mode, and it reminded me of years that once were. Sitting in my room on a summer night, playing Call of Duty with all of my best friends. And I didn't even get mad when I was the first one to die every round. No! Oh! Dude, the heavies are so oh, broken with that big ass Waffle House ass fucking shield they got. Okay, so what? It was still a struggle. But remember, we're giving this game a fair shot. We aren't sitting here trying to lie to ourselves and say we're having a great time when we're getting absolutely thrown. But we have to give this thing a chance. Especially when my friends are having such a good time. I mean, look at Jeff. He's exacting his dream of becoming a demolition foreman. He is blowing up the towers, I repeat. He is blowing up the towers. Not so close to September, please. <laughs> Although I kept dying, it seemed like our strategy was working. I kept getting folded, and we kept on winning. We ended up going up 3-0 to zero on defense, meaning that we only had one more round to win before winning the entire game. We're on the attacking side here. We haven't done this before, so let's see if we can do it. The attacking side was very simple. Much like Chick-fil-A has the key to my heart, we had the key to the ATM. And we had to take the key to the ATM, stick it inside, and wait for the decryption to finish, then we win the round. Find my little slot, and then you stick it in. <laughs> All right, looking for the slot, looking for the slot, looking for his little slot. Decryption started. Well, they have no chance, bro. Yeah, bitch! We took one down. Oh my God, I got two. Oh, we are aiming, boys. Oh my God, I got three. Let's go! Let's go, baby! Oh, ooh. Oh yeah, we did that shit. 
Uh. And there it was. We had won our first game of Terminal Attack, and we had a lot of fun doing it, but I was not yet satisfied. If I'm being honest, we just kind of outshot our opponents. In the casual playlist, it seemed like people didn't really play around the site or use any utility to hold them. So I had to hop into a ranked match to see the full competitive scene of this season. And reminder, I'm not here just to test out the competitive scene, but to also determine the levels of fun that I'm having. And I'm not gonna lie, I don't know if I could call this next part fun. Did you detect the camp? Dude, are you fucking kidding me? The competitive players proved to be a tougher match, but we were still winning rounds. And with commentary like this, I don't know how we couldn't. I mean, the one thing that I know about the ultra rares, their team owner, baby Gronk, lived up Rivy Dunn, Livy Dunn, and that's how they were able. We actually have a player mic'd up. Swizz is mic'd up for this. Let's go uh, and see what his comms are like. All right, guys, we got to try our hardest. We got to try our best. You guys know what I'm all about. I'm all about aggression. Tactics are out the window. Let's go in. Let's attack and let's get it done here, boys. Oh, my God. Ah! Oh, I just got fucked. I got one assist, guys. It became apparent to me very quickly that I was the weakest link. The competitive players on the other team were no problem for my friends, and I was very lucky to have such great friends that would carry me to the win. That is until they try to throw the entire game. Hey, Swizz. Hey. English or Spanish? English. Whoever moves first is gay. Baby, you got something in your nose. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, you gotta win this without me. Guys, I can't move! Please! What am I supposed to do? Guys, I like men! Yeah! So much further than I thought it was. I just came out for no fucking reason. God damn, I mean, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> With the game on the line, we needed to make a play. We had to lock in for two rounds to take the win, but every time it seemed like we were about to, the enemy would pack us up and throw us in the trash can. Oh, oh, wow. No! GG, guys. Nice try. Maybe next time. Mm. Well, obviously, we can't end like that. Now, to answer the question, drum roll, please. The finals is not back. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know. I get it. Look, I had a lot of fun, and my friends did too, but do I think that one new game mode in a competitive ranked setting can bring an entire game back to the casual game space? I don't. I think that the finals would have to focus on different things and different aspects of their game to bring it back. Now, what aspects, you might ask? I think that their game is super unique with its mechanics, with its building structures and all of that, and it's really cool. But it seems like they have a very massive focus on microtransactions and cosmetics. And while that is one of my favorite parts of this game, the fact that that was a focal point of every season launch up till now is a big red flag for me. And I feel like that's detrimental to the life of your game. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love the cosmetics just like the next guy. But to me, it feels like the development of the cosmetics takes place of the progression of the actual game. I feel like sometimes they're focused more on making money from the microtransactions than they are being a relevant game with a larger player base. With all that being said, the finals is still fun. I mean, I feel like any first person shooter can be fun as long as you have a fun group of friends to play with or you don't take yourself too seriously and you just play it for what it is. Anyways, guys, that is all for me. Thank you guys for joining me and watching this video and let me know what you think in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe and sell me your firstborn son. Anyway, uh, I'm going to get out of here, so I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.